Hi, in this particular video we're going to look at a slightly more complex version of um, solving by substitution. Now this particular one we've got a value of x, y equals 12 and then we've got x minus 1 multiplied by y plus 12 equals 15 and we're being asked to find the values of x and y. Okay, so a little bit more challenging, um, probably aiming at around about grade 6, grade 7, these sorts of things. But once you get the hang of this, you should be okay with it. Okay, so let's first of all just multiply out the second expression, or second equation. So I've got x times y is xy, and then I've got plus 2x minus y and then I've got minus 1 times plus 2 is going to be minus 2 and that all equals 15. Okay so it looks a little bit scary canary it's not great to actually look at except you can kind of see hopefully that actually this value of xy is this okay so we're in a position where we can substitute and rather than writing xy we can just simply write 12. Okay, well that makes it a little bit easier now because when we tidy that up a little bit we're going to get 2x minus y and then I've got 12 minus 2, well that's going to be 10. Okay, so plus 10 and that's going to equal to 15. So if I minus the 10 from both sides I'm going to get 2x minus y equals 5 and if you work through this yourself hopefully you'll be okay. All right, so this is the simplest form that we can get to. And the next thing we can do is we can actually say, well, we're going to substitute the value of x into this particular equation. The way we're going to do that is we're going to say, if we again go back to the first equation, and we've got x, y equals 12, which also means that x must equal 12 divided by y. So we can simply plug that directly into this equation. So we're going to get 2 and rather than writing x I'm going to get 12 over y minus y equals 5. Now I appreciate it doesn't look great at the moment but it will kind of work itself out. It's not too bad. So 2 times 12 is 24 over y minus y equals 5. Okay, here's your problem. This thing here, this denominator of y, we've got to get rid of. Now the only way of doing that is to multiply both sides by y. Okay, because if we multiply both sides by y, when we multiply 24 over y by y, we just get 24. Okay, so that gets rid of that denominator and makes it much, much easier for us. The next thing is y times minus y, well that's minus y squared, and that's going to equal 5 times y. Now again, it still looks a little bit untidy, but hopefully you'll begin to see that actually we've got the beginnings here of a quadratic equation, which we should be able to solve. The second problem we've got, apart from this denominator of y, we've now got minus y squared. Don't want that. Got to get rid of that. What I'm going to do is bring it over to the right hand side and I'm going to write that as y squared. I'm going to leave the 5y where it is. And then I've got 24, which I'm also going to take to the side. That's going to be minus 24. That's going to all equal zero. OK, now you might recognise this as a quadratic equation you can solve because you've got minus 24. Well, two numbers that multiply to give minus 24 are going to be 8 and minus 5. OK, they also add together to make plus 5. Y. No, sorry, 8 and 3, beg your pardon, minus 3. They also add together to make plus 5y. So if I add those two together, I've got 8 minus 3, that equals plus 5. So I can factorise that for y plus 8 
multiplied by y minus 3 and that all equals 0. Okay now if you're not sure about that, you're not sure about the steps I've taken there, please do have a look at some of the other questions and some of the other playlists on factorising and that will give you plenty of examples to work through. Okay so I've now got at long last my two values of y. My first value of y is where I say y plus 8 equals 0 so therefore y equals minus 8 and my second value of y is where y minus 3 equals 0, so therefore y equals 3. And then it's really a case of just taking these two numbers and plugging them straight into the equation to be able to get my value of x. Okay, so I've got x equals 12 over y which is the same as 12 over minus 8 okay so 12 divided by minus 8 is going to be x equals minus 1.5 okay so i've got those two values there and then y equals 3 well x equals 12 over y which is 12 over 3 which is 4 so therefore x equals 4. Okay, and those are the two points that solve this particular, or two values of x and y that solve these particular equations. Okay, so if I want to, I can write them as coordinates, or I could write the answer as minus 1.5 minus 8, and I could also write them as 4 and 3. OK, that's the answer to this particular question. I hope it's OK for you to be able to follow through. It did look a little bit tricky right from the very beginning, but from there it's relatively straightforward, providing you kind of follow all of these. There's a couple of gotchas at the end here. This minus y is not very helpful, but make it a positive y by bringing it, y squared by bringing it to the other side. And also this y here is not very helpful either but just multiply but through by y and that'll get rid of it okay please do add a comment below on the uh, play on the video if you're not sure about anything I'll always respond to it have a look at some of the other videos within the playlist please subscribe i'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video